Joining me now is uh, Richard Beyer. He is the CEO of Freescale. I do want to congratulate you on the IPO. Thank you, um, you know, we've seen a lot of these internet IPOs really take off, LinkedIn as well as Yandex soaring here. Is there a little part of you that wishes you were running an internet company right now? Well, no doubt about it, those are very favored by the investor community. But we have a very solid business model at Freescale. I'm really happy to be part of this company and very excited about our IPO this morning. Rich, you know, I want to ask you as well, um, it's been kind of a tough ride over the last few weeks for chip stocks. Uh, they've taken a bit of a hit on concerns about weaker demand, excess supply. Um, talk to me a little bit about why an investor at this point should consider investing in a company like Freescale. I know that you're struggling with profits as well uh, as your debt load on top of that. Yeah. I think the semiconductor industry is in many uh, different markets. Some of the markets, in fact, are seeing softness. Fortunately, the markets that Freescale is serving, are not. Uh, we're not seeing any softness. Automotive, the networking industry, uh, as well as a broad industrial market. So our business is holding up very strongly, and we believe that the, 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 uh, the health has real legs. Uh, Mr. Barry, it's Margaret Brennan back at Bloomberg headquarters. You've got uh, about $7.5 billion in debt. Do you still have flexibility to make acquisitions with that debt load? We do. Well, we're generating cash on a continuous basis. Uh, the IPO this morning is going to allow us to reduce that debt on the order of a billion dollars. Uh, we've been able to make small acquisitions even over the last couple of years with the debt load. Uh, we believe that the things that we need to do in terms of M&A as well as investing in the business uh, will continue to be possible despite the debt load. Now, and with the pricing, uh, which we were following very carefully, you came in here at about 25 percent less than what you originally sought. Do you, at this point, look ahead towards other offerings? I mean, will you have a, a second listings, too? Well, I think we will at some point in the future. Obviously, uh, the, our sponsors still own about 80 percent of the company. Uh, but this was a very important first step, and uh, it will help us to reduce the debt and the interest expense. Uh, I think at some point in the future, we will see, we will see uh, other offerings, but uh, th those will be out in the future. Rich, I want to ask you, uh, of course, investors are paying close attention to the road for profits ahead. Uh, talk to me a little bit about what you're doing to, to boost profits going forward as well as reduce expenses. Mm -hmm. we, we have uh, really three levers to, re, uh, to uh, continue to improve profits. One is to grow faster than the market, which we're doing today. Second is to improve gross margins, which drops to the bottom line. And third, uh, we're reducing our interest expense. So three levers are going to help Freescale to continue to increase its uh, net income and its EPS. And we're very confident in, in those three levers. Great. Thanks so much for taking the time.